Well, Apple just announced the brand new iPhone 15, the brand new watches and brand new AirPods, all with USB-C and stuff. But today I'm focusing on the Apple Watch Ultra 2 because I'm an athlete. This will always get my attention. Let me walk you through what's new with the new model. What is different? Should we upgrade or not? Apparently there's a new chip, the S9 chip, which is faster, of course, twice as fast in the neural engine, 30% faster in the GPU and 60% more transistors, which equals a lot faster in the interface but like not once during me using an apple watch ultra one for a whole year now that i think it's too slow so that's a welcome upgrade but like it's not a big issue we didn't need more speed but the newer and faster chip allows more cool features for us to enjoy for example the brand new precision tracking and connectivity to your home bot now with your apple watch ultra 2 you can precisely track your iphone not just ring it it will show you exactly where is it and give you taptic feedback the closer so you get it's like an air tag the same ultra band technology and that helps also with your home bot once you enter a room with your home bot inside it will detect and open the playlist for you to play or to stop or to skip songs etc also there is a brand new feature which is so exciting to me especially now siri is faster is totally independent on the watch no matter if the connection to your iphone is weak or not is not existent siri will work so smoothly on the apple watch ultra 2 and the big cherry on top now you can access your health data securely through Siri so now you can update your weight through Siri without needing a smart scale for example you can just say hey Siri update my weight to 60 kg what's my step count today and a lot more this is so exciting now you can update a lot of your data in the health app without smart accessories straightly through your Apple Watch Ultra 2 and they gave the new watch a newer display with a maximum brightness of 3000 nits and it can go as low as one net Previously, it can go up to 2000 nits and can go low as 2 nits. But again, through a whole year, last year, I didn't even one time thought to myself, this is not bright enough. It's plenty bright outside in the sun, but we can use the lower brightness it can go now as 1 net. It will help you sleep better and not get distracted while sleeping. The new chip also allows a new gesture control with your index and thumb. You can double tap to scroll through your smart stack. You can answer calls. You can end calls you can start the timer you can end the timer and a lot more i'm so excited to test this feature and apparently there's a new night mode which will be automatically activated when the red light sensor detected those are all the new features we didn't get the new sensor for the blood sugar thing we didn't get new battery it's the same 36 hours and those were the most requested features but i guess the new chip allows for higher brightness with the same battery life so i think it's more efficient but we will see i don't think Think you should upgrade if you have the ultra one but i guess it will be a good upgrade if you're coming from a series 6 or series 7 but again there is always a brand new series 9 if you're not a hardcore athlete you should go with a normal apple watch the ultra is for the dedicated athletes i pre-ordered it and i will be testing it in detail soon so like the video and subscribe and stay tuned for that and as we always say mikao is always rooting for you i'll see you in the next one